six C is it review reviews like a revising review of the verb forms. It's a very good topic. As you can see, they put all the tenses that we learned so far, all the tenses. So we have got the tense name, and we have got the example, how it looks like, and when we use it. A very brief map for you. So the we got like we learned present simple, we learned present continuous, we learned past simple, we learned past continuous. See? Present simple, past simple, present continuous, past continuous. And then we learned be going to plus infinitive. And we learned how to use will and will not. And then we learned present perfect. So if you can understand these, that means good. We have learned these good things. Now, present simple, how does it look like? Usually like I leave, I go, I play, play. If it's he, he plays, she plays, right? Negative, she doesn't play. I don't play. We don't watch. Question, do you watch? Does she, does he watch? This is present simple, guys. When we use it, yeah, things that always happen, things that usually happen, like routine activities, when I want to talk about routine, every day, every month, eh? or always true, like the earth, the earth, the earth yes. rotates around the sun. Always happens like that. It's a fact. Haqiqa. When you want to talk about facts or haqiqa or general information, then we use present simple. And routine, obviously. Yes. Also, uh, we use uh, present simple with uh, frequency adverbs. If you remember, always, sometimes, usually, often, never, hardly ever. This word, if you remember, we use present simple. And these words we put before the verb, main verb, like I always go. He usually eats. He doesn't often come home. You see? We're putting these verbs, uh, words, frequency, words before main verb. But if it's verb B, if you remember, verb B, we would put after that, like, he is always late. Look, is all, always coming after. He is always late. I am usually on time. Huh, so normal verbs, we put before them. If it's verb B, we put after them. After the verb B, like usually, always, often, eh? these kind of words. That's it. Now, present continuous, how does it look like present continuous, you know? Present continuous. Present continuous, as you can see, is looking, he is looking, or I am leaving. To be present continuous, we need two things. After subject, after subject, you must put M is R, one of it, right? M is R, and then verb ing. If you have these two things, that means your present continuous is complete. Negative, I am not, he is not, we are not watching, like ing. After M is I, you just put not. Is not becomes isn't, uh, when you want to use contraction, isn't or we aren't, right? And then ing. As you can see, like I am leaving, he is looking for, right? When we use it, in which situations uh, it says here so we use present continuous things that are happening now yes something happening now while i'm talking while i'm speaking something is happening so i'm teaching you you are listening to me uh -huh. or around now what does it mean around now around now for example i say uh, i am learning a new language now? No, 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 not now. I'm, I'm now I'm teaching you. But these days I am learning new language. Or I'm I'm uh, attending 
a karate course. I am doing karate course. Uh, or she is doing yoga. You see, these days, these days, around now, also we use present continuous. Also, temporary situations. Temporary, muakkad, not permanent. Like when I say I'm, I'm doing karate course, it will finish in maybe one month or two months. For example, you guys are doing English course. It's not permanent. When we finish the levels, it will finish. So it's a temporary. So when we talk about temporary things, we use present continuous. Huh, so something happening now, something around now, temporary things. For example, uh, usually Mr. Ahmad goes to work by car. Usually. But this week, you see, this week he is going by helicopter. Mm -hmm. This week. <laughs> only this week. This week is a temporary thing. That's why I'm using present continuous. And then, Sir, in, in, uh -huh. okay. in the last present... one, the last present continuous, see? arrange it plan. We discussed one. Things that we have arranged for the future. When you talk about arranged plans for the future, we use present continuous. Like what? I'm leaving tomorrow. Mm. I am meeting my friend at five o'clock tomorrow. Specific time, specific place in a cafe. Or I am flying to London on Tuesday. Look, specific time. That means I bought the ticket. Everything is arranged, organized. We use present continuous. Yes, Mr. Ahmed. Uh, in present symbol, when I use uh, verb to be is are. Uh, um, when you don't have, in your yes, sentence, uh, you don't have normal verb like go, eat, sleep. You don't have this verb. Then you must use M is are. Like what? Ana mudarris. Look. Ana mudarris. There is no verb. Yes. Ana mudarris. In English language, I must say, I am a teacher. You cannot say I teacher. You cannot. Yes. You understand? So when there is no verb, or in other ways, when we talk, when we describe hal, halat, halat, situations, mm. situations, yeah? No, there's no haraka. There's no action. Like I am a teacher. Or he is happy. She is sad. When you got like adjectives in your in your sentence, adjectives. Huh? So, M is R, we use with adjectives and nouns in present simple. Yes. Normal verb, use do and does. Yeah, normal verb, like I play, I don't play, she plays, she doesn't play, do does. Uh -huh. Yes, that's correct. Now, past simple, past simple. As you can see, we saw. So the second form of a verb or past simple form we use after subject we saw or I went uh, she bought uh, uh, she bought a dress yesterday we, we must have the time word yeah usually time word we must have it or we should understand like you and me we are talking about yesterday so I don't need to say yesterday 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 I can't say it all the time as long as we understood what we're talking about then we don't need to repeat that. But for the first time you are saying, you should say the time, like last night or yesterday. Like we didn't do anything yesterday. When you want to talk about the negative, we say didn't do. We use didn't. I went, I didn't go. I bought, I didn't buy. After didn't, we must use infinitive. After doesn't, don't, and didn't, guys, we must use infinitive. Don't forget that. Right? Uh, I said, I am a teacher. Past simple, it will be, I was a teacher. Huh? They are students. They were students. So like how we use M is R, it will be the same thing, but for past time, we use was, where. If there is no verb, if there is no verb, we use was, where for the past simple, Mr. Ahmad, you understand? Yes, if you have a verb in past symbol, use did, sir. Huh? Did, yeah. For question, for question. For positive, for positive sentences, we must use the past ah. symbol of the verb. Like, 
I went to the school yesterday. Huh? We don't say did in positive. We use did for question like, did you go to school yesterday? Okay. I didn't go to school yesterday. You see? Okay. For positive sentence, we use past simple form. We don't say did, Mr. Ahmed. When we use it for finished, completed actions that happened once or more than once in the past. So I'm talking about something happened or didn't happen in the past. Completed. Okay. Now, past continuous. Whenever we say continuous, guys, we never say. Whenever I say continuous in grammar, there is verb ing there. So if I say present continuous, look, there's ing. Sumaya, you slept or are you awake? I'm awake. Are you awake? Alhamdulillah. Okay. Whenever we look present continuous, there's ing. Past continuous, there is ing. Continuous. Because verb ing, it shows the continuity. Something is happening, continuing. Uh, because it's a present, I'm using M is R, M is R. And because it's a past, I'm using was where, guys. Was where, you see? So he was working in Paris. When we use past continuous, we use past continuous to say that something was happening or to say that an action was in progress. It was happening at a specific time in the past. Look, at a specific time in the past. Actions that were in progress at a past time. So they're making a very general, but at a specific time in the past. Look what? What were you doing at seven? Look, at seven yesterday. Ah, at seven o'clock yesterday, I was watching TV. You see? Yesterday is past. Yesterday. Specific time, seven o'clock. Something was happening. Past continuous, guys. We use was, where, and ing. If I want to make negative, wasn't or went. If I want to make question, I put uh, was and where before the subject. As you can see, look. What were you doing? Not you were doing. Were you doing? Yeah? What were you doing at 7 o'clock? Also, we use past continuous. When I want to describe my picture that I took, for example, I'm showing you my picture. So at that time, at that time, I was doing this. I was doing that. When you explain your picture to someone, you use past continuous. But if you want to describe a picture, any picture that you can see, then we use present continuous, if you remember. In the picture, he is doing that. He is pouring milk. Uh, the woman is wearing something. Is present continuous. But if you want to describe your own picture, we use past continuous, guys. So that's also done. Now we got be going to. How we use be going to? Like be going to, instead of be, we use M is R. Like I am going to play. He is going to watch. They are going to cook. Example, look, I am going to see Tom tonight. Look, it's going to snow. There are two ways we use only. Only there are two ways we can use this structure, be going to. The first one is future plans. Future plans. Future plans in your mind. Or we can also say intentions. Hmm? Future plans or intentions. Intentions. Something that you would like to do. You are planning to do something, but you have not arranged it. Huh? You have not arranged it. You're just thinking to do. Like, I'm going to see Tom tonight. Does Tom know? No. He doesn't know. But if you call Tom, hey, Tom, uh, I'm going to see you tonight. I was thinking about that. Can we meet? Yeah, yeah, sure. No problem. Where? Uh, let's meet in 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 my uh, in my house can you come like at seven o'clock yeah okay fine all right no problem you arranged that now if you want to talk about that you must use present continuous no no i'm meeting tom tonight i'm meeting tom tonight at five o'clock at my home i cannot come you see arrange it plan present continuous but if tom doesn't know 
he was thinking, okay, I need to call Tom. I'm going to see him tonight. I'm going to, I'm planning. I'm going to buy a new car um, next month. I'm going to buy a new car. Which car? How much? Where? I don't know, but I'm thinking. So I've got money. Alhamdulillah, like I collected the money. Money is ready. Now I'm going to buy. I'm thinking. You got it? Or next week, uh, next year, uh, I'm going to start master's degree. Uh, after two months, I'm going to travel to England. You see? When, how, which airways, nothing is clear. I'm just planning to do it. So when you're talking about your future plan or intention, something in your heart, then this is be going to. This is the first. Second, we said what? Predictions with evidence. Huh? Predictions with, look, look, so look, I can see that. It is going to snow. Maybe like black clouds and a little bit, you know, snowflakes coming down. I was like, look, this blind man is going to hit the wall. I can see the blind is walking and I can see that. So it's not a plan. It is prediction. I am predicting. Tawakku or Tanabu, you say. See? Evidence. I can see the evidence. Ha, so when you have got the evidence and you are planning about it, uh, sorry, uh, predicting about it. Yeah, When you have got the evidence and you are predicting about it, be going to. It is going to snow. It is going to rain. I can see the black clouds. Right? That's also gone. Now, will and won't. After will and won't, we use infinitive. Like, I will go. I will not eat. Huh? Infinitive, first form of the verb. Infinitive, yeah? Go, eat, play. For example, playing is not infinitive. Or went, not infinitive. Goes, eats, not infinitive, guys, yeah? Now, we use will and won't. Predictions. I will write here, without evidence. Huh? Predictions without evidence. You just think, you are hoping something will happen, in your opinion. Like, you will love New York. Yeah, don't worry, everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. I'm predicting, I'm being positive, I'm thinking, inshallah, it will be okay. Uh -huh. So that is prediction without evidence. We use will. Right, now here, I'll phone you her late. I'll phone her later. Look, I'll phone her later. Instant decisions. Instant, it means quick decisions. Quick decisions. When you want to talk about quick decisions, without a plan, you know, without a plan. Like when you go to a restaurant to eat, they they bring the they bring the menu to you. So looking at the menu, you will decide. I will have. Okay, I will have steak. I will have kushari. I will have kapsa. Whatever. I will have lasagna. I will have pizza. I will have fish and chips. You see. I will have, so we're using will, when we want to make a decision, quick decision for the future without a plan. And offers, ard, offers, I will help you. I will also say, shall I help you also, right? Let me just write this one here. We can also use offer with shall. Shall I help you? I will help you, no problem. I will give you money, no problem. Offering, you understand? We use will. And promise, we use will. I will pay you on time. I promise I won't tell anyone. Don't worry about that. I promise I will come on time. I promise I won't be late. Promises for future will or will not. That's it. The last one, present perfect. Present perfect is a big topic. But as you can see, they're, they're making it kind of short. How it looks like. So present perfect. Present perfect, have, has, and then past participle. After subject, he, she, I, we, they, subject, have or has, and then past participle. Past participle is the third form of a verb. Third form of a verb, like go becomes gone. Buy, bought, do, done, see, seen. Uh-huh. Uh, have had be been third form page 60 uh, 165 this book page 165 you will see the list of this uh, past participles 
has we use for he has she has it has and then past participle the rest of it we use have like i have finished the book like i have finished the book how we use it like when we use this present perfect we use present perfect recently finished actions recently hadithan short time ago finished action we don't say the time guys we don't say the time and this action has still effective like i have painted the kitchen i have painted the kitchen when you go to my kitchen you will see it's new or i have washed the car nice we also use recently i have recently washed i have recently uh, painted you can use it as well recently recently is not time word guys yeah recently is adverb uh when you want to use uh, when you want to talk about past experience khibrat al haya i say in arabic yeah? like uh, i have been to england i have met uh, japanese people i have tried indian food you see i'm talking about my experience that i have had in my life but i don't say the time you know or if you want to ask about past experiences about people like we say have you ever have you ever been to england have you ever visited china have you ever met indian man have you ever tried uh, somali food you see have you ever we use present perfect also there are three words we discussed already just and then yet when you see these words we use present perfect guys already and just we use in positive sentences before the past participle i have already finished i have just seen your brother in the street how about yet we use yet with negative sentences and questions have you finished your homework yet no i haven't finished my homework yet in both cases negative and question words yet we use always at the end so yet comes at the end of the question or negative sentences that's it this is the review of six units is that clear guys yes present perfect we we can use in past uh, when you don't uh, re, uh, specific time don't use this don't Go as present perfect, yeah present perfect is something happened in the past yes present yes. perfect is something happened in the past but usually uh, uh, as i said usually the recent past recently happened not long yes, ago you can use in recently and the past also yeah you've yeah, seen this movie before yes exactly i have seen this movie before but you don't yes. see the time guys don't see the time if you see the time like yesterday two months ago even if you say two seconds ago even if you say that, you must use past simple. Yes. I when you it. use time, specific past time, past symbol. Yes. Mm. It's like two seconds ago, I saw your brother. Look, I saw your brother. I mean, it, it's I mean, just an example. We don't say that, right? I saw your brother two seconds ago. Oh, one minute ago, I saw your brother. Or you can say, oh, I've just seen your brother. Yes. I have just seen your brother. Look. Same meaning, but one of them is present perfect, one of them is past simple. Because when I use the time ago, last night, huh? yesterday, in 2016, that I'm, because I'm mentioning the time of the past, I must use past simple. But if you just want to give the information without time, then present perfect. Okay. Yeah. Clear, right? So yes. let's try to do uh, some time. So we're going to do quickly uh, exercises. And then after that, I think we can go home. I'm recording the session, so I'm going to share that to the group after that. So look, 60 is just one word. We just need one word, guys. So I'll give you like two minutes for that. I'll be one minute, yeah? And then we'll discuss. Just go through it quickly, please. So the first one, Mr. Ahmed. Uh, do. Uh, do, do you often work. remember? That's mm -hmm. correct. Excellent. Do you often remember? So we're going to do here. Sumaya, your turn. Did you? Uh, Sumaya, you said what? Did you? Yeah, did you? Yeah, last night. It means did you. Very good. 
Because last night is past simple, guys. Last night. Mr. Ahmed? Who, who do you think? Next year, who do you think win the election? Going to? Uh, but go no. will to two words. Will. Go with one word, we need. Yeah. Will? Will, exactly. Will, will. that will be correct. So who do you think will win? Will win. Okay, very good. Excellent. Have you been to supermarket? Very good. Have you? Have you been to the supermarket? Yes, Mr. Ahmed. Uh, do you? No, do. Are you? Your brother. Like, there's a like, there's a verb. Yeah. And as you can see, there is no timing. It's a general information. Your brother is he. There's a uh, had. Simple. Had. Business simple. Hmm? A business symbol. Hmm? Do uh no is it simple for question we use do or does 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 your does, brother yeah. like about does, music? Yeah, because your brother is he so does yes, does as your brother we cannot say has because if I say has this verb must be past participle liked yes, like, yes. yeah Sumaya what are you going to watch on TV tonight? Yeah, what are you going? Yeah, plan, you see? What's your plan? That's correct. Is Mr. Ahmed? This is annoying. Mm -hmm. Is a. Uh, past continuous. Past, past continuous. Uh huh. Because you left. Look, when you left, we're talking about past. Uh huh. Yes. You did no, no. Past. past continuous to make past continuous, we use was, where, and verb ing. Yes, yes, yes. Knowing was it's was it, yes. Was it snowing? You see, was it snowing? Great, Sumaya. Did you? Did no, the, last it, night there is no verb yet. Did you infinitive? Okay. Okay. Was uh, where you at? Were you? That's correct. Were you exactly? But we don't have infinitive yet. So were you at the party last night? Yes, Mr. Ahmed. No, yet. Look, yet, and then past participle. Yes, have uh, had the film. It the film had. No. Have have. No, no film. He, she, it. He, she, it. Uh, does uh this is present perfect, Mr. Ahmed? Like there is a yet, there is past participle. Is a present you perfect? have or, or had, sir? Huh? Just has, 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 have, and has. Finish it. Yes. yes. When there is ed here, Mr. Ahmed, finished. No finish. does, no did, no do. You cannot. Yes, yes, yes. So now I'm going to be quick here. Uh, what what are we doing tonight? See, what are we doing tonight? So the question is coming. What are we doing? Present continuous. So we need to answer with present continuous. So we are having, you see? We are. We are having. I'm using the verb in the bracket. Yeah, have. We are having dinner with Jack and Mary. Now number two. But last week, you see, last week is past simple. So, but we had past simple. But we had dinner with them last week. And then we say, yes, but they to tell us some good news. Want. So we say, they want to tell us. See, they want. They want to tell us some good news you know oh okay okay then and i understood that they want to so now i'm asking offer offer so my what shall i say offer question mr ahmed oh Will? okay Will? Uh, i shall no shall i yes shall, shall i shall. 
shall I buy? You see, shall I buy offering? Shall I buy some champagne? And then B, it's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock, so it came. It came. Someone came late. It's eight o'clock. So where have you uh. been? Where have you been? Where have you been? You see? Because that guy just came recently, completed actually. Where, where have you been? I'm sorry. Like, and I, the first one is walk. So when I was walking, so I'm, I'm telling a story now, you understand? When I was walking home, Decide. So I decided. It's a short action, you know? Guys, if the action is short, the action is short, we cannot use past continuous. You know, decide. Qarartu. I decided to buy the champagne. And then C is also short action. Uh, uh, how are you? It's Mark. I saw Mark. Oh. Yes, I saw Mark in the shop. And then be saying, well, hurry up. Hurry up. We are going to be late. Going to, yeah. Yes. Because I know that he came late. I've got the dalil. I've got the evidence. You came late. Becoming late. So we are going to be late. So the prediction with evidence. Prediction with evidence. And then it's okay. It's okay. And I've already oh. booked. Already. Um, when there is already? Huh? Present perfect. I have, yeah, I have, I have already booked. I've already booked. So I'll make smaller bit. There you go. See, I've already booked a taxi. And I, in five minutes, so I, I, I will. I will be, yes. Because this is a quick decision. I will be. So I was not planning to be ready after five minutes because I came late. And they're like, don't worry, I've, uh, I've already booked a taxi and I'll be ready in five minutes. In speaking, I will be, I'm going to be, you can interchange, you can mix it. That's okay. That's fine in speaking. You understand? So here I can say, I'm going to be ready in five minutes. Also, that's also fine, guys. No problem at all. But will be obviously is better because it's quick decision. When you, when you talk about quick decision for future, will. That's it, guys. How is that? Is it clear now? Yes. All right, we're going to stop here. If uh, like this. if you got any question. Yeah, and obviously in the workbook, you got to go to page. Workbook pages, if you practice a bit, it will be perfect. Mr. Ahmed, do you have any questions? Okay. No, thank you. All right, Sumaya, so do you have any Sumaya. questions? No, teacher. Thank okay, you. Okay, well, guys, thanks for your time and have a good night. And I'll see you in the next session, inshallah. Bye-bye. Assalamu alaikum.